Good morning, everybody. It's Midnight and Beyond, welcoming you back to the world of Mario & Luigi Partners in Time. In the last episode, we made it up to Star Hill. I made a bunch of Geno references that were very not funny because it was very obvious that he would not be here. And we fought a very annoying boss that was very annoying for Kid Night and Beyond, but no problem for Midnight and Beyond of the present day. It's all about helping out the past and stuff in the present time or the future time or whatever. Time, 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 time. In this episode, we are headed off this very cool pathway, which looks like that a starry pathway in Luigi's Mansion. And we are not going to find a star at the end of it, but instead, we are going to find another hill. It's just like an excite bike track. No. We're going to find a warp pipe. I kind of wish it showed us popping up in the background right there just for a split second, but no. We are here in wherever this place is. Uh, they don't actually give us the name, but that's a really cute picture. Uh, we were told by the spirit of the Cobalt Star that uh, something would be hiding for us here, specifically a Cobalt Star Shard. So, let's see if we can locate it exactly. Doesn't seem like it would be too difficult, but let's see just exactly what lies in store for us. This must be the gate to the Star Shrine the Cobalt Star spoke about. Ah! Pilgrims and wanderers, what is it you seek in this sanctified place? Beyond this gate lies the sacred realm of the stars, keepers of light. Those judged unworthy or without purpose will not be allowed to enter. Stop! No words of explanation will be necessary. All that I require is an appraisal of your work, such as the entry key. You will step forward, red man of mustache. Stand before me. Speak no words. Open your heart. Yes. Mmm. I see. Oh, what? Impossible. Ah, mmm. Ah, ah, eh? No, amazing. Well. Red man of mustache. You are true and courageous. Your heart is filled with virtue and concern for your brother. I do recommend you watch your diet, however, for it is also filled with much Alfredo sauce. <laughs> you should especially cut down on carbonara, though it will be very hard, for that is very tasty. If you curb your appetite, do some light cardio work, and continue to ward your brother, you will no doubt grow to be a figure of immense popularity, yet not grow an immense belly. I deem you most worthy to pass this gate, and recommend Putinesha. That stuff is great, I may have to look that up later. Now, green man of mustache. Well, uh, oh my, huh? Eh, what? Whoa, ew, shocking. What was that? Woo. Green man of mustache. You suck. Um, good luck out there. What is that? You crave more? I could be more direct, but everyone would hear. Are you sure you wish for this to be? The secrets of your heart would be revealed. That odd incident. And that other thing as well. Then I shall whisper. As for the little ones, I know their hearts are innocent, so they may pass unhindered. This means that most of you are worthy of admittance. However, the green man of mustache is questionable. His heart is muddled with certain questionable things. Wow. Who knows what trials the road ahead may bring? You may find yourselves tested like never before. Yet the green man of mustache weeps and worries like a child, fearful. It is embarrassing. I cannot allow one who so be beamens his fate to pass through the gate. It is most unfortunate, but you may not proceed. Please calm yourselves. I will, I will summarize your position if you are calm. There are three options open to you at this time. The first is to give up and return home to a dinner of healthy pasta Putinesha. The second is to leave the green man mustache behind and proceed without him. The third is to search out and strike the Aurora block wherever it may be hidden. Which of these three roads do you, like, you choose to follow up is up to you. Your hearts are your guides. What, you may be wondering, is an ominous aurora block? Prepare for enlightenment. 
I wonder what that sauce is, though. It's a rare block. Its presence has long been celebrated by denizens of the Star Realm. That is an important thing, for if you are able to find the Aurora block and strike it, I will acknowledge the Green Man of Mustache's courage and cooperative spirit. Then your entire company shall be judged worthy and allowed to free passage into the realm. Fare you well. Okay. Of course, Luigi's making things difficult for us, as always. So we gotta go and do a little side quest to deem him worthy of getting through here. Personally, I would just ditch the sap, but unfortunately, Mario's not one to do something like that, so we gotta go on this little side quest. And the when he's talking about like the impurities or the uncertainties in his heart or whatever, I assume it's just referring to the fact that he's such a coward that he doesn't think he's gonna be courageous enough to see this adventure through all the way to the end or something like that. But here's the thing, because I'm not, I, at this point in time, I don't think I will be Let's Play Mario and Luigi Dream Team, so I guess I could talk about this a bit more to some extent. There's some, there's a moment in Mario and Luigi Dream Team that delves a bit more into Luigi's character, but never really goes much further than the initial uh, introduction of it. It's kind of unfortunate uh, that they don't uh, do more with what they were about to show off. What they do basically, first time you go into Luigi's mind, and it shows like a bunch of corrupted thoughts in the background of like what he's thinking. He's in constant pain, like constantly like suffering and screaming in an agony, just thinking about uh. So he's like all his thoughts are centered around Mario. He's more so just upset that Mario always abandons him or leaves him behind on adventures when he wants to go on them so badly, even though he's so afraid he wants to go with Mario and be of some use to him. And I wanted to, I wanted that to actually be delved into, but it never really does. That's the only time in the game, right at the beginning, when they show that off. And it's just never really explored ever again. Luigi is never the focal point of Dream Team after that segment. Even though it was the year of Luigi and like everything's all about Luigi. In that game, like during half the game, you don't even control Luigi. Whenever you go into the Dream segments, you control Mario, who just gets powered up by Luigi, who then like disappears and like, goes into his body. He has like a bunch of Luigi based attacks. It's really sticking weird, and I don't understand why they do it that way. So it's kind of unfortunate in which. Uh, a, it doesn't really focus on Luigi, and B, it doesn't really have a big emphasis on the story of Luigi. So, I don't know, it's just something that I would love to see. I'd love to see more personality uh, drawn out of the Mario Brothers, but they never really do it uh, beyond the initial introduction of what you already assume of these guys. You see Mario super create courageous, and then Luigi is a big weenie who tries to face his fears. I guess he... Um, I can see the appeal in Luigi in which, uh, we got Wonder Thwacks, just more powered up versions of the regular Thwacks. Um, I can see the appeal of Luigi's character in which, uh, considering he's so afraid and yet does all the things that Mario does anyway. Um, it was sort of a comparison, I haven't seen Naruto, but it's sort of a comparison to Sakura from Naruto in which, uh, she doesn't have any sort of super special, super same powers to help her along the way. She just is able to keep up with them through her own determination, and she doesn't have any sort of special lineage or anything like that to help her along the way she just is determined to help everyone out along the way and also not be left behind and the same can be said about Usopp from One Piece because like everyone else is like super crazy powerful but Usopp is just a guy who recognizes his faults and he wants to be a better person and he wants to be strong and he wants to be brave and it's relatable in a way because he makes it along all those dangerous insane adventures with everyone even if he's uh, freaking out and cowering all the time he's still able to persevere through all of it and he's able to use his own human strength to make it through all of it. And not only that, but the fact that uh, Luigi, uh, not Luigi, uh, Usopp, uh, he has something that the, a lot of the other Straw Hats don't have and that's a brain. He's without question the smartest Straw Hat and he uses that to his advantage. That's how he fights. He uses strategy. He uses communication skills to talk through with uh, enemies or his allies because that's something that the other characters outright can't do. It's not that they don't want to. It's like, oh, I'm so powerful, I'm just going to beat you up. No, they literally can't because they're too stupid to talk out their feelings or uh, discuss anything like a normal human being. So Usopp is the only one who could be in those scenarios, which I think is just ingenious the way they present all that. And I was really excited to see some of that in Dream Team, but they never really delved into it uh, beyond the initial uh, viewing of his inner conscience being like how upset and sad he is all the time that he always gets left behind. And Mario never actually acknowledges that you as the player just look at it in the background. So that's kind of unfortunate that it isn't really uh, used all that much and that's sort of why I don't really want to LP Dream Team because there isn't really 
all that much to experience in terms of story, and that's what I like to see in RPGs, it's story. So, unfortunately, I probably won't be able to for that reason, and, uh, that's, uh, just a tiny little thing that I wish got implemented in other, uh, Mario & Luigi games. Maybe in the future it'll happen, but who knows. Uh, what we're gonna do right now is fly these babies over here. And I guess we'll land up. Okay, I guess that's not gonna happen. Maybe we could just use the big bros instead. Okay. Seems simple enough. Uh, go across here. Just keep on taking these star spaded pathways. And, uh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, let me just say this LP's gonna be sinking gross to Ed with all the singing sniffling that I have to cut out because I'm so stinking sick. I really want to record the rest of this LP tonight. I don't care how sinking long it's gonna take. Um, I was comparing my two save files, and uh, this one is only 45 minutes shorter than my complete save files, so apparently I'm really sinking close to the end, so I should be okay, but I don't know, maybe past me who did that save file, like, gave up on fighting all the enemies a lot earlier on, so that save file's a lot shorter just in general. Not really sure, but we'll find out eventually. So we keep on jumping all the way up here, fly around here make our way across to that area because we were going the right way before but then I want to get all the items along the way because I'm in and beyond of course I do even though I'm never actually gonna use any of the items because I'm so stingy on whether or not I actually use them uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and bring the babies over here I don't think it's up here but like it would make sense if it is uh, we got well that looks like an Aurora block I would think so question is do I want to uh, sure, why not? We'll go back around and we'll see all the different rooms anyway. So, we're just gonna have the babies jump up here. They can't do anything from this angle, that's kind of weird. So, drop them back down here. Jump on this spring, because it's so much different. And, get some water for something. Hopefully that's enough. Uh, just line it up properly. And, let's see what this is all about. Uh, there you go! And now we gotta jump down here, because we couldn't jump across that little chasm. And go onto this springboard. And hit the elusive Aurora Block. And we gotta hit it one more time, apparently. But it looks like we need to hit it with real superpower teamwork. So, Luigi, the honor is yours. And we gotta go all the way back. Great. So, we're gonna go take this pathway this time so we can see what uh, special goodies are available to us. Probably just a carbon copy of what we already saw, but we probably have some more items on the way. So, it'll be worth a, a trip in that sense. Uh, that enemy right there, we uh, kind of glossed over when I was going on that little talk, but I love this thing, an enemy name, it's called the Piranha Planet, it's a very hilarious name. Uh, let's go over here, and we got a 1-Up Mushroom, go over here, we got a Shroom Badge A, probably just something about mushrooms, uh, something that we already have probably, so I probably don't even need to go over it. Uh, let's go back around, head down here. And this block we have two ultra drops. And that's kind of unfortunate. Okay, I guess we can show off the piranha planet a bit more. It shoots out these laser beams. It's really funny. And okay, just keep on dodging them. And time to jump. Time to jump. Let's see what else has he got for us. The uh, question is like, I guess that was a space only. Like at first I thought it was like another cardboard cutout, like the your little hand things have. But no, it's like a space helmet because the Piranha Plant in space! Even though he's on his own planet, you think he wouldn't need to have a space helmet for that, but apparently he does. Uh, but now we need to get the babies over here, so drop them down. Uh, avoid the falling blocks if we can. Uh, it doesn't seem there's anything else over here. Oh, there's some blocks right there, but we can team up for that. Anything else down here? It doesn't look like it. Waka 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 uh, We got ourselves two trampolines. Very very nice. And as for this final pathway that we did not explore before, 
we got ourselves a brand new car. No, I don't know. I just, I've been saying we got ourselves way too many stinking times with this LP, so I might as well just tack that on in there, because I'm sure someone was expecting it at some point, or maybe not in the slightest. Maybe all zoned out after episode one. Uh, let's go over here. Get this, two red shells. Try and avoid these enemies if we can. Uh, do we have anything else in here, or are we pretty much done? Uh, let's see. Do this. And the final item for this little adventure contains the uh, coins. Okay, 100 coins to be exact. Reunite, and time to hit the Aurora block right in front of that big old Stargate. Yes, that is it. Impressive. That is the Aurora block. You have done well to find it. Now, green men of mustache. Strike the block so that I may witness your deed and deem you worthy despite your flaws. Okay. Even the gods of the galaxy like making fun of Luigi. No, 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 that will not do. Your insecurity sickens me. Approach me this instant. Are you listening to me, green man of mustache? For you should listen well. It was not due to your efforts alone that the block was brought here, was it? Who is responsible for this achievement? Hmm? Who is it that made this possible? Select your answer from the following three choices. Mario, the babies, me, me, me! Uh, what do we say, Mario? That is not true, is it? Think this through carefully. To whom do you owe thanks for the completion of your task? Select your answer from the following three choices. How about the babies? You honestly believe this to be true? Think before speaking. To whom do you owe thanks for the completion of your tasks? Select your answer from the following three choices. Uh, me, me, me! Get serious! The correct answer is... For everyone! What else could it be? Hmm, how could you fail to know the correct answer? Wow, it sounds like a teacher. It is inconceivable to me. It is deplorable. What? Did I tell you to choose from only three responses? What do you mean there were not four to choose from? <laughs> you lie! It is the very tendency to falsify and edit facts that get you in trouble. Oh, no. Surely you realize your progress is a testament to teamwork. That is a group effort. I know you do, and yet you refuse to pick the correct answer for everyone. And then you lie. I am appalled. If you continue thusly, your fate is sealed. You shall spend your days in loneliness. Mark my words. I beg your pardon? You imply that I am lying? You mean to say that Luigi has done nothing wrong? Incredible. All of you. You are truly amazing! You are the best siblings ever. Come, green man of mustache. You need weep no more. Rise and face me. There was all this was all merely a test of my devising. Red man of mustache. For the sake of your brother, you went in search of the Aurora block. You endured hardships and supported your sibling. It was literally like five minutes, dude. Not that terrible. Your feelings for your brother are genuine. What a grand older brother. I am quite moved. Yeah. Green man of mustache, for all that I have forced you to endure, forgive me. You see, I know the truth. Your heart is like a gemstone, multifaceted and beautiful. I see how it sparkles. There are places that need polishing, but you are vital to your companions. You must march bravely on. You have my undying support. You may all pass. I will not hinder you. Yeah. Now, green men of mustache, please strike the block with all of your newfound grace. Yes, a fine jump. Oh, and by the way, the aurora block, it can alter its shape to match the size of the heart, the one who strikes it. <laughs> Luigi! Luigi! <laughs> Without further delay, let the gate be opened. 
May the road ahead bring you all much happiness. Oh god, I just got ripped in half. Well, that was certainly something. I guess we just need a comedic break in the, all the tension that we've been having throughout this adventure. I'd say it was well wor worth it and warranted because we need a chill moment every now and again. And uh, what better chill moment can we have than just bully bullying the heck out of Luigi? That's always a fun time. Uh, but yes, now that's taken care of. Don't have anything else over here, it seems. So I guess we're just going to jump on over here and get the babies. Jump down the pipe. And this looks very familiar. It looks like Star Road, is it? Star No, Star World for uh, Super Mario World. Uh, we have another save block. This might be rather short, so how's about we just keep on going? Especially if I start dodging enemies left and right. Jump down here. Uh, we got ourselves a pokey head, a bony pokey head. Uh, go over here. Uh, we got another bean spot. Don't want to miss that, even though I'm never going to buy anything with beans, so I don't even know I'm bothering with them. Whatever. Uh, we got this thing right here. Okay, we got hit all the special star blocks in all the four areas. Okay, now that's taken care of. Let's yeah, we'll save the top one for last, because that seems like a very appropriate one to end off on. Head down here. We got another cave right here, and hey, Shine Sprite! So, we got Mario World, Mario RPG, Paper Mario, and Mario Sunshine references. This game is just a love letter to all Mario games, it seems. Head on in here. I mean, actually, I think about it, because it also has like, Yoshi's Island elements because of the uh, Yoshi's thing and the baby thing. So, it really does have just about everything in it, so that's kind of cool. Uh, hit that. That, 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 that. Jump over here. Uh, Luigi. Hit that. And wow, I was really sinking close to the edge right there. Uh, hit this with baby Luigi. Jump over here. And that's unfortunate. Uh, let's see if I can just trick this out. Over here. Oh, that's unfortunate. Trick it out again. Uh, let's see. Okay, that works for me. Uh, go over here. God darn it. Go over here. Yes. No, didn't mean to do that. Oh god, please don't. Okay, good. Uh, I think if you hit that fireball, you get sent back to the beginning. I didn't even know you can walk out of the way of it, though, so that was nice. Uh, jump. Go over here. This stash jeans. Gee, I wonder what that does. Weird if it was, like, pants made out of mustaches. Is there actually nothing up here in terms of, like, progress? Usually we have to go through these pathways, but right now it doesn't seem like it... Nothing over here, nothing down this way. I guess that was just for a bunch of items, okay. Just hop back up here. And where is the star block though? It's not anywhere over here, so... Oh, wait, it's over there. So there was an exit way that I didn't see before. Okay, give me a second. Aha! There you go. And that leads you to the star block. And I don't know why we gotta hit it twice. And since this is Luigi's area, it seems we'll leave that block for him to claim as his own, I suppose. That, I'm just really thinking lazy. I don't want to go ahead and change it to Mario. Uh, okay. Hmm. I don't know if that really means anything, but whatever. I thought it would just, like, showcase all of them all at the same time. Uh, okay. At least we keep on hitting them. Uh, let's dig down here. Get the bean. Get on out of here. Avoid all these things if we can. Go over to this away. Uh, see if we can find this block anywhere around here. It is not that one, but red, red, green, green, red, green, red, green, red, green, red, green. Okay. Try to remember that pattern. 
And G, I wonder what I need to do. Red, red, green, green. Red, green, red, green? I think it was again, red, green, red, green. Was it not? Oh, green, red, green, red, okay. Uh, so do that, do that, do that, do that. There you go. Just don't have to like redo it all over again. And that gets thrown down here. Making quick progress at this place, which I very much appreciate. I remember it being like kind of a long dungeon though, so uh, who knows how much further we have to go. Exiting the star maze is not very simple because you're in space, you could go on forever. In space, no one can hear you scream. Or hear Luigi cry, so that's why we need to try extra hard to make him cry and suffer because we need to make sure everyone can hear it. I just really think I'm mean. Or <laughs> whatever. Let's go down here, hit this, two red shells, and 100 coins. Then land on that side, go over here. I don't know if you actually have any influence over what side you pop out of, but whatever. So now that I hit all five areas, does it do anything? It doesn't. Huh. Uh, that's sort of weird. I believe if we go back over here, there was a sign? There isn't a sign. If I remember correctly, maybe it wants me to do it like in the pattern of a star? Okay, that did it for us. So we just gotta keep on going back and forth through all the areas until like we connect lines. So basically just go to a different area to where you'll connect lines. There's no real order to it. You're not like trying to make an outline of a star or anything like that. You just need to uh, hit blocks in ways that lines will get connected and that they'll stay there no matter what from now on. So this is actually gonna take a while. So how's about I go ahead and just speed this up and play music so you could go ahead and see uh, what you need to do exactly, all right? Go ahead and cue the music. But not before seeing this really weird attack.
Huzzah! Ever so conveniently, I'm on the pathway that would allow me to just walk down here very easily and enter the next area. How much further do we have to go? Holy Jesus, this looks really big. Okay. Uh, when, when you think about there's only one, two, three, four, five, six. And we're just going to save in the next area for the next episode. Next time on Mario and Luigi Dream Team, I mean Mario and Luigi Partners in Time. We are hopefully going to get out of Star Hill, and the only reason I say hopefully is because there's no Geno here, so there's no reason for me to want to stay. And we will find the Cobalt Star Shard that is supposedly hidden here. This is Minette and Beyond, and I will see you all later. Good night, and in case you want to know what happens if you hit this thing while you have all the bros with you, that's what happens.